watch out for jellyfish if you're heading to the Mediterranean this summer. The beaches are being invaded by swarms of Pelagia naticula, the so-called mauve stinger. A close encounter will leave you with a painful purple welt. The jellyfish normally live in the open waters, but droughts on land have jacked up the salinity of bathing beaches, which draws the jellyfish in. Too many of the creature's natural predators, like sunfish and turtles, have been overfished, so the jellyfish population has exploded. And you can forget what you saw on Friends. Urine won't help you if you do get stung. Try a solution of Epsom salts instead. And if that hasn't put you off taking a dip in the sea, maybe this will. Camera attacking jumbo squid. The cephalopods have taken up permanent residence off California's coast in the last few years as sea temperatures have warmed. They can grow from two inches to two meters in one year and are voracious predators. As well as devouring the local fish population, sometimes they turn cannibal. But so far, they've shown no appetite for human flesh. Scientists have known stars that circle too close to black holes get sucked in. Now, new computer simulations suggest that process triggers a nuclear explosion. As the star's near side gets trapped in the black hole's immense gravity, it gets stretched and squeezed flat. Its density and temperature increases to such a degree that a nuclear hell breaks loose and the star is blasted into pieces. Hopefully the next generation of telescopes will allow astronomers to see the fireworks for themselves. Two new bionic limbs this week, the most sophisticated arm ever built, created by Touch Bionics in Scotland. It allows amputees to peel bananas using an ATM. Previous prosthetics have only managed a claw-like grip, but now tiny muscle movements picked up by electrodes attached to the forearm allow users to control all five fingers separately. MIT researchers have built a robotic ankle with a motorized spring to allow amputees to walk more naturally with less effort. When the foot touches down, energy is stored in a spring. When the foot pushes off, that energy is combined with added oomph from a battery-operated motor and the user is propelled forward. A new study on sperm reveals its speed may depend on its creator's promiscuity. Researchers looked at the sperm from various primates and found those species that, put it about a bit, have faster sperm than those species that prefer a quiet night in. Human sperm swims at about 0.2 kilometers per hour. That's a lazy jog compared to the F1 sperm from promiscuous chimps. They move more than three times faster, with ten times more force. See how quickly this chimp sperm escapes the optical tweezers in this Petri dish. Now watch gorilla sperm perform the same feat. They're even slower than humans. But then gorillas were the most monogamous of the primates studied. And let's face it, why would you rush when there's no competition to beat? <laughs> For the first time, scientists have witnessed a new memory being formed. High-resolution images captured the memory laid down by a rat as it learned to navigate a maze. Fluorescent antibodies highlighted the changes in the synapses of the rat's brain. These are the microscopic connections between nerve cells. After the experiment, 1% of these connections had been strengthened. It's a major breakthrough for scientists who now want to create a map of where the brain stores memories. No matter where you store yours, don't forget to tune in next time. Can do anything.